I would like you to think of a non-person. Someone you would classify as a non-person. George Orwell in 1984 uses that term for those that only have ID numbers. In Slovenia during the ethnic cleansing, they were called the erased. In El Salvador and Guatemala during the wars, they were called the disappeared. In Nazi Germany, they were called gypsies and Jews, non-persons. Unwanted, stripped of social and legal status. In our own community, we call them the homeless. No record of their existence. And in some ways, they are called, and in some places, blanks. The widow today is about to become a non-person. She's been here and done this before. She's a widow. She followed her husband's coffin. Now she's walking behind her dead sons. She's losing her identity, the connection she has with society and family. She will have no social standing according to the law no power, no rights, no protection, and absolutely no protection to any property rights, according to Roman law and Jewish law. However, Jewish religious law did say that you should take care of widows and orphans. But we know how religious our laws are, aren't we? When push comes to shove, what gives way? We've seen it. We're told we need to care for all. We need to have respect and care for every single human person. And yet we see the results of abortion, the death penalty. We have a history of internment camps. We go into some societies, and I know certainly in this the sectored area of Las Margaritas in El Salvador, there's barbed wire around this sector section. It's to keep people in, not to keep people out. Because those in the sectored communities are the non-persons. And so the widow today is filled with grief, with loss, with fear, especially in the unknown. She has no idea if anybody is going to care for her. And her tomorrow is so limited. The horizon is so short. But Jesus steps in. He has a way of doing this, doesn't he? He steps in and gets everyone's attention and it's almost like shock and awe because the vision of God's glory is manifested in the resurrection of the Son. And they're all caught off guard. They're all surprised. But the story today isn't about the dead Son. And we seem to concentrate on that, don't we? It's not about the dead son. It's not about mere biological life. It's about the widow. The story is about the widow because she is given a new life because of resurrection. And what we find out is that life and new life and resurrected life and God's reign and God's power is contagious. When we receive new life, Someone else is given new life. And it spreads. And it becomes part of our community's purpose and rationale for gathering. The resurrection of Jesus and the power of God in our lives 
heals a broken world and a society that cannot see, that cannot see or not hear with their, with their lives and their hearts the dignity of a non-person. And we have so many non-persons in our world today. Jesus calls us to a new social order. He calls every single one of us here to a new social order. It's kind of like shock and awe because we don't like change, do we? But God says that if we are going to be prophets, remember when we're baptized, we're baptized as prophets, priest, prophet, and king. And so today, right after Mass, I'm going to baptize Evan Todd, okay? Evan Todd is the son of Andrew and Ashley Capella Todd. And Evan Todd is going to be anointed as a prophet. Now that means Evan Todd has to be able to go out into this world has to learn from us and go out into this world and proclaim God's reign and God's goodness and God's love. There's a lot of responsibility for this little child, isn't it? A lot of responsibility. But this child can change the world. This child can literally change the world. But we have to do our job. God's love has no boundaries. Life is more than simply existing. The system needs change. If we treat everyone as undeserving of life, or anyone undeserving of life, in the fullness of that life, we are not fulfilling our baptismal responsibility. And so this week, I ask you, as you leave here, to open your eyes and open your heart, because sometime this week, you may run into a non-person. God bless.